everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below so that you'll never miss another upload in today's video i did want to talk a little bit about the pros as well as the cons between relaxed hair and heat train natural hair because i know a few of you have been saying you know you're kind of torn between going back to relax or become the heat train natural so i thought this video would be a good idea to give a little bit of insight onto what is best for you and your needs and first of all i just want to say do whatever you want with your hair don't let anybody make you feel bad about doing what is right for you and what you want to do with your hair if you want to relax your hair go ahead and do that if you want to heat train your hair go ahead and do that it is your decision it's up to you and I'm not here to judge anybody on what they want to do to their hair. Do what's right for you. So in case you don't know, I am heat trained. I do like to wear my hair straight or straight end or use heat the majority of the time. Now I do take breaks. Sometimes I don't necessarily always wear my hair bone straight or flat iron my hair. Sometimes I blow dry my hair. Sometimes I wear protective styles. So... You know, I feel like I know how to safely heat train my hair. Whenever I wash my hair, my hair still reverts and I still very much have curl to my hair. So my bonds are not broken. Just to give you a little bit of insight on my situation and what I'm currently doing to my hair. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. So as far as heat, humidity and exercise. Now this could be a big problem if you are heat training because when you are heat training, a con is definitely going to be that your hair is going to unfortunately revert, frizz, puff up in these situations. So that's a reason why a lot of people who heat train do not put heat on their hair during the summer months and when it's hot and humid out because it is going to most likely revert. It's unfortunate. It just is going to happen if the bonds in your hair aren't permanently broken your hair is going to revert so that could be a big con for you if you live in a you know a hotter area where it gets really really humid so heat training may not be for you or you may want to like maybe like not do it during the hotter months and still heat train in the cooler months but if you want to wear your hair straight all the time all throughout the year then one of the pros of relaxed hair is going to be that your hair is going to be way less likely to revert because you have already broken those bonds in your hair with the chemicals of relaxing your hair. So that could be a plus for somebody who maybe works out all the time, exercises all the time, you know, gets sweaty, sweats in their scalp a lot, then that can definitely be a pro for relaxing your hair for that reason. So the next thing I did want to talk about is the actual health of your scalp. Now, a really huge con with relaxers is that because it's a chemical, it's going to be very, very drying and very harsh on your scalp. And it can also lead to things like scalp sores and scabbing. So that might be a huge factor in why you don't want to relax because of, you know, your scalp and the sensitivity of your scalp. If you have a really sensitive scalp or just the fact that, you know, it's a chemical and, you know, it's going to be very, very harsh. So with heat training, you don't have to worry about scalp issues because, you know, heat training is heat. It's not a chemical. So you don't have to worry about your scalp becoming irritated. So that is a pro. So another con with relaxed hair would have to be the versatility of relaxed hair. Relaxed hair can just be, you know, very flat, very one dimensional. You know, people who relax their hair often just wear it straight and that could become, you know, a little bit boring if you're a person that likes versatility in their style. So with heat trained hair, you can definitely, if you safely heat train, you can have the versatility of going back and forth between your naturally curly texture to straight hairstyles as well. So one huge pro of having Heat trained hair is that you still maintain the volume in your hair. Like even though I'm heat training my hair, I haven't broken the bonds in my hair. So my hair, you know, sometimes even when I straighten it, it's still, it's not super flat how it used to be when I was relaxed. It still has its volume. When I do styles such as my flexi rod sets and my wand curls on my blown out hair, I have a ton of volume 
only when I really, you know, get it really silky with a silk press does it look flatter, but I still very much have volume because I haven't broken those bonds in my hair. So a con of relaxing your hair is that you're definitely going to lose your volume. So if you're concerned about your volume, I would not say to relax your hair. It's gonna be a con because you've broken down those bonds in your hair, which in turn is gonna make it straight and flat. So it's just gonna be really lacking in the volume area. So as far as which one is more damaging, relaxed hair or heat trained hair, that's definitely gonna depend. With relaxed hair, relaxers are designed to break the disulfide bonds in the hair. This does weaken the hair. Because of this process, hair does not hold on to its moisture, which could definitely lead to dryness. So in a sense, heat training your hair can do the same thing if you use heat in a manner that's breaking the bonds in your hair. If you notice, you know, pe some people who call themselves heat trained who don't heat train safely and use titanium flat irons, which gets really, really hot and is really, really damaging to your hair if you don't know how to use them, then you notice a lot of those people have really, really damaged hair and they've broke, broken the bonds in their hair, which is like the same as basically relaxing your hair. So they both could be damaging. You just have to know how to safely heat train your hair, which I feel like I have mastered. I've been heat training for the past year still have my curl pattern i don't have breakage i don't have dryness my hair is just doing very very well with how i use heat i don't use it all the time like i said before using it in moderation is fine don't do anything too much because it will lead to damage no matter what it is so it just basically comes down to what you want to do with your hair what fits better into your lifestyle but if you do want to know how to safely heat train your hair, I would highly suggest that you check out this video right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.